This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 20.19.12. Now, when learners submit an assignment, file size information now displays next to the file name in the submission receipt email. This feature implements PI item D5253. Now, when a learner submits an assignment, their email confirmation identifies the file size. There is a new column that displays submission ID information visible to learners on the View Feedback page in Assignments. From View Feedback, when the learner navigates to their submission information, Submission ID now displays. Starting January 2020, Brightspace Learning Environment will no longer support Internet Explorer. Now, if users attempt to access Brightspace Learning Environment using Internet Explorer in a test environment, an unsupported page appears. For more information, review the release notes. The D2L, Tools, Notifications, Allow Inactive Courses, User, and D2L, Tools, Notifications, Allow Past Courses, User, Configuration variables have been removed from the config variable browser. You can now set the default sort order for HTML templates to be displayed alphabetically or by file path for the org or specific org units by setting the D2L, Tools, Content, Sort HTML Templates by Name, Configuration Variable to On. Note. Instructors can override the sort order in content at the course level. The sort order in Upload Create menu in content has been updated. Previously, new assignment appeared between new discussion and new quiz. Now, new assignment appears between new SCORM, API object, and new checklist. New columns are available for the discussion topics dataset, including grade item ID, score out of, score calculation method, include non-scored values, and version. The can access Brightspace dataset's permission must be granted to administrators at the org level. You must also ensure the D2L, Tools, Brightspace dataset's version Configuration variable is set to version 3 or 4. This feature is available to core clients in North America, EMEA, and APAC. There is a new Brightspace dataset that reports on all tools used within your organization. The CAN Access Brightspace dataset's permission must be on for administrators at the org level. The D2L Tools Brightspace datasets, version, configuration variable must be set to version 3 or 4. This feature is available to core clients in North America, EMEA, and APAC. Grades are now fully synchronized in assignments and discussions when grades are added to Brightspace via the existing Import as CSV, Import as Excel, and API entry options. Note. Synchronization only occurs for new grade entries. This feature implements PI item D3610 and D391. You can now use and maintain user's preferred first and last name in an ILP or LIS 2.0 integration. Upon configuration, you can configure preferred names to be kept up to date by SIS. You can now extend the visibility of unevaluated learner submissions in QuickEval past the end date of a course. To enable, set D2L, Tools, Unassessed Activities, Days to Extend End Date, Configuration Variable 7, 30, or 60 days beyond a course's end date. 
This feature implements PI item D5437. The default value for the D2L tools, quizzes, new quiz builder experience, configuration variable is changing from off to on opt-in in the 20.20.1 release. You can edit this configuration variable to off if desired. Learners are now informed when new content becomes available through a release condition that was satisfied. Learners will now be notified using a pop-up toast message to let them know that new items are available in the course. When adding release conditions to activities or content, the ordering of tools has been updated. Conditions 4 and condition type menus now display tools in an updated order. The default setting for the D2L, Tools, Rubrics, Create Experience, Opt-in, Configuration Variable changes from Off to On in the January 20.20.1 20 release. In this release, you will also be able to share rubrics from the organization level using the updated rubric creation experience. A new dedicated storage area tied to widget, org unit, and user is available. This feature introduces the following permissions. Modify org unit custom widget data. Modify own custom widget data. Retrieve org unit custom widget data. Retrieve own custom widget data. Note, if you have a custom widget, Provided by D2L Learning and Creative Services, you will be contacted for assistance migrating data from previous storage locations to the new. For more information, review the release notes. Thanks for watching. We're always looking to hear about the type of video content that you'd like to see. Drop us a comment to let us know. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.